Hello guys, Monkhouse here. In today's video we're going to be looking at five different ways in which we can create lists using Python. So let's go ahead and get started by opening an empty Python file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by defining this empty, well this variable, sorry, which is going to be equal to 100 and this is going to be the number of elements we have in each of our uh, lists that we're going to be generating. Our first method then for producing a Python list is by using the list function given to us by the standard Python library. And this is going to be super simple, we're just going to create this variable and we're going to make it equal to this list function. And whatever we put inside these parentheses, Python, if it can, is going to try and convert, uh, convert to a list. So what we're going to put in here is this range function. And this is, and then inside there we're going to put x. So this is now going to make a list called my list, and it's going to be full of values from zero to ninety-nine. So if we go ahead and print this now. Uh, we will actually see what we've created. So just like that, we've created our first list, and that goes from zero to ninety-nine as we expected. The second way that we then produce a list in Python is by simply using something like a for loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this empty variable list, which is going to be called my list one. And we're going to do for i in range. So this is a really useful function, of course, x. What we're going to do is we want to append the i values to our list my list one. So we go ahead and print my list one now. We will actually once more see another list exactly like the one before, but in a com using a different method for actually filling it. So another way we can generate lists in Python is using this uh, list comprehension method, like this, comprehension. And this is going to be very much similar to our for loop above, except it's all going to be contained within one line. And the way it looks is we're going to say i, for i in range x, um, and that's it. So it's basically saying each element in the range x is going to go into our list. And this does exactly the same thing as this for loop, so it's probably mostly better to use this, except that in this case, of course, we're not appending, we're just initializing it uh, in the same way that we did with up here. So if we go ahead and print this, we now see, once again, we've generated this list, which goes from 0 to 99. So that's the three uh, main ways in Python that we can generate uh, lists in a procedural sort of manner. Uh, another thing we can do though that I want to show you quickly is, and this is the fastest way to just initialize an empty array, and that's just using a list multiplication, which is a fancy name for, well not really fancy, but it just looks like this, if I could spell. And we're just going to say my list three is equal to something like zero, that we're just going to multiply by x, and what's different about this, of course, is we're not generating a list like above, like a list of numbers. We just generate, we're just saying we're going to have 100 elements and they're all going to be zero, or they're all going to be one. So this is kind of good if you just want to initialize an array that has a specific size. Um, you don't usually need to do this in Python because it's not C where you have to declare the size of the array. You can always append to an array and make it bigger, or list, sorry. So you can do that and it's quite quick. And then the fifth way that we're now going to generate a list is using NumPy. So this is no longer using the Python standard library, but I wanted to include it. So we're going to import NumPy as NP, and we're going to call this a NumPy array. And this is simply going to be my, I'm going to call it list nevertheless, my list four is equal to np which is numpy and we're going to use this a range function that numpy gives us <coughs> gives us pardon me and inside here it's going to just go x so if we now go ahead and execute that what we're going to see is a list that looks slightly different but it still goes from 0 to 99 thanks for watching guys don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this thank you for watching Thank you.